change one little thing, you can't assume that everything afterwards stays the same. Right. And all I'm saying is you guys doing what you were doing at such a young age. I was saying that, uh, so we saw I did the forward. And one of the things he was saying was how he was inspired by the organization and professionalism that you guys had. Even right. at that young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even at that, that young, early yeah. time. Yeah. And so it is no guarantee that if you guys weren't doing what you were doing, that he was not inspired to do what he eventually did. And everybody back on board comes after that. that everybody, that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 The possibility is that everything changes if you guys aren't doing the thing. So I'm just saying all that just to say, yeah. no, how I much appreciate I appreciate it. it. Well, I appreciate the legacy. Just, yeah. just doing going through the history and bringing it, you know, and getting it going. So, yeah. Again, good. thanks to you guys, there was history to write about. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm the least important person here. You know what I'm saying? Without you guys, there would be no reason for me to be here. So this is awesome. So, yeah. It is, man. It's, I mean, it's cool being noticed after all these years, you know, saying, recognized and appreciated after all these years. It's real cool. Um, um, the name of the book was intentional. Emerald Street. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's an homage to you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. I'm honored. I'm definitely yeah, honored. Yeah. I, I'm the one who's honored. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who gets to be among you all artists, so I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Well, this is great. So this is going to be on the times or something? Did, did, did you guys have any idea of your pioneering role? No. No, we were just kids just doing something we yeah. had fun doing. Just having fun, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that was the furthest thing from our mind. So that it was, was just new and exciting. Just new it was, and exciting. It was. It was. It was fun, yeah. yeah. We had no idea, but, you know. Nobody I don't think anybody did at that time. No, of course you not. You gotta think, if Rapid Delight came out in 79, we were doing it in 81. It's yeah. like, at that point, it's just something that people were doing and just having a good time doing yeah. it. Having fun at parties. That's what I'm saying. Hip hop isn't even supposed to be here, man. Yeah. Considering where it's it started and, and who it started from, it's yeah. not even supposed yeah. to be here. Yeah. They said it was a fad. Yeah, that's what they and said. They had a McDonald's commercial rapping in it. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at that <laughs> point, <clears throat> everybody had seen how disco had been so popular in yeah. the 70s and literally yeah. disappeared like overnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people were kind of worried. Thinking a lot of kids, right. hip hop kids, were worried that that same thing could happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it went the opposite. Because <laughs> there was way too many stories to be told, and that's what hip hop was. Yeah. Cats was just telling stories and how they grew up. Uh, for the first time, from yeah. a young black male yeah. perspective, exactly. for the first time you got in the world was hearing that. Yeah. And so, you know, and it's still here today. Unbelievable. So, you know, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. You guys, if, if somebody would have been able to like give you just a little window on the future when you guys were first getting started, man, you guys would have been like, man, get out of here. It's not going to grow to be all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to take over the world. Right, right, right. Yeah. But shoot, back then, we didn't even really, we didn't even think that. Honestly, we didn't even think like, oh man, we're going to be famous. Yeah. We just really, really had fun doing it. Yeah. Yeah. We had good guidance. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had good parental guidance for the, for the, uh, to, to, to cultivate us and, you know, yeah. bring us to where we were. Dance steps. Hey, yeah. make sure you keep it wide to keep the people excited. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, make sure you're not on this. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. Like, Steve and Rico, we have as well as ourselves. I mean, they all played a part in, in helping us grow. Yeah. And, and, you know, so shout out to them, man. Yeah, big time. And there was plenty of times when we did say, man, forget this, because we kids. <laughs> yeah. We just want to rehearse every day, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But I will tell you that um, the discipline one in the group was Ed. Yeah. yeah, you know, he called a rehearsal. You got to come to rehearsal. I don't care if you're frowning or whatever you're doing. You got to get to rehearsal. So that's true. And the innovator, man. I mean, he's the man. Time, yeah. If, if it wasn't, I think if it, obviously if it wasn't for Ed, there wouldn't have been no Yeah, yeah. It yeah. yeah. wouldn't have been no MC boys. Ed's the real pioneer, yeah. and he's one that got us all yeah. going on this. So. And then once he got past it, you know, working out the rap part, then he was doing the DJ, and so there's a lot of folks that. Pay homage to him with the DJ. For DJ yeah. You know what I mean? Back in those days, we had parties at 31st and Howe, next door to Ed's house, at Craig's, at Craig's house. Oh, and yeah. Ed took songs and mixed them with Richard Pryor and things like that. They're doing that now. But wait a minute, the cold party, that's when MTV was happening. And we had TV. TVs and all the, over the, the house, yeah. <laughs> and now we're doing video playing music with, with like the video. music. Yeah. That's Ed. That's who Ed that was. was. Way back yeah, for anybody with the TV. actual TV, TV, <laughs> not the flat screen. Right, right. big old TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now did we bring? Wait, did, did he bring over his? Remember his mom bought that one TV and 
and the phone number popped up on it. I think so. Did yeah. we bring that yeah. one over there? That Probably. was a big screen. Yeah. We all have we all bring TVs over there. And they weren't, on, they weren't the, the, the lights, flat screen ones either. Back yeah, there. Wasn't, no, they weren't. They weren't. <laughs> so I mean, that's the that's who we had to help us along the way and teach us along the way. You know what I'm saying? He was writing all the raps. Yeah. Cause I didn't know how to write raps. I in the wanted to rap. In the beginning. Yeah, in the wrote. beginning, exactly. And then we and would then, write, we would write the solo, we write our own solos, yeah. but he was good at, at writing the exchanges. Like yeah. one person say this, the next one says that. But we did our own solo. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. You know so who were your influences? Like you obviously influenced oh, another generation, but where did you guys look for? Treacherous. Well, it's groups from yeah, yeah groups from on the uh, from New York that we yeah. that were just starting out, like Treacherous yeah. Three, Cold Crush Brothers, yeah. you know, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, a whole bunch of the yeah. older older ones, yeah. so Super Rhymes, you know, Plus One More. Yeah, they were like real rhyme smash. Yeah, yeah. You know of course, so, of course, Grandmaster Flash. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, most of the kids can take. I teach in hip hop class in Seattle. So most of the kids can take the class are late teens. Uh huh early 20s and sometimes I find it a little difficult to really get across how just exciting it was. How just it was so exciting. Yeah. Nobody was, knew what was going to happen. There was no formula. There was no there was no roadmap. It was right. just everything was so new. Sometimes it's difficult to kind of communicate that to people who weren't there. Right. What, what that felt like. Right. Know? Because now it's so mainstream. I mean, it's so part of the mainstream, you know, a lot of times it's there, you don't even pay attention to it. Yeah. But at this time, it was just, but the mainstream didn't want nothing to do with it, which is exactly what it made more attractive. Like, like, like I tell people, most of the times when we have these interviews, is they have to understand that even at that time, the thing that made us unique in what we did and the professionalism came from entertaining. Because we never knew what rappers look like when they're on stage. So right. we had that we, we, we modeled after stuff like the Temptations. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and you gotta think about it. Even though we were using box steps, we knew that we had to be in unison, we yeah. had to be tight, we wore the same thing. So we were actually it's like the temptations and rap together yeah. is what we actually used. Yeah. That sounds funny to say the temptation, but that's actually what we did. Yeah. You know, so yeah. and that was yeah. the first thing yeah. going. Huh? That was the first thing going. Yeah, and he was a singer. Yeah, singing. Yeah, because yeah, 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 nobody was doing that. No, nobody, nobody was, was doing that. First song I wrote called "Shake Your Pants and Dance," and he was singing, yeah. and he was bringing Shake singing and, and rap together. We were the first, yeah. And then we put that together, and that was the first time we did that. And then babes, and, yeah. yeah man. I mean, nice it was just, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just, uh, it was, it was fun, man. It was yeah. just like a kid that walked into a store and said, "I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that," and he get it. I miss it. I don't know if I've ever felt that way. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know if I've ever felt that way again in my life yeah. after that time. Yeah, it's exactly. all changed. It changed. Yeah. It all changed. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I got to ask you: Are there performances in your future? No, not for me. I don't, I'm not buying my idea. Now, Rob, yeah, yeah, yeah I see. He's still, I mean, our friends, he's still in. He's still, yeah, he's still going. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. I, I sing now, and I have my show. And I did. Matter of fact, I just did it. I took my recording equipment to this lady's house. They had like 10 ladies and they wanted me to do a 70, 75 year old lady's birthday. So I took my, and then I did some songs, but this lady was like dropping it, bringing it back up. Not like I'm saying to her anything. I'm just saying she had that, you know, that little, that, that youth to her. But no, they had, it, was, it was bad fun and I performed. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep, cause it's in me, so it's gotta come out. All right. What I would like to do at some point, I was working, we were working on Aaron Walk Aloud before Ed had passed away mm -hmm. of getting all of the rappers together and doing something like self destruction and doing like the back, just like mm -hmm. when Run DMC. Mm -hmm. yeah, Remember when Run DMC went back and got all the guys that yeah. got them together to do that? The King, do something like that. I would like to do something like that with me, our Curtis, yeah, and then some of the, and even some of the younger ones, mm -hmm. doing a, a video production and an actual song like self destruction and like. Uh, right DMC and the Yeah. 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 We had something we were working, then it just kind of just fell, you know, he did that.